This is Isabella, and she has about 45 days under saddle, and this is the first time she's been to the beach. First thing you want to do, make sure you have your horse's attention, and that they'll move off of pressure, regardless of what they're facing. So can I move her front end, her back end? Pay attention. Oh, look. Look at the pugs. This is a good day. There's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of things to see. She's antsy. I'm gonna go ahead and let her move. If I try and hold her still when she's this upset, I'm just confining her and she's gonna get more anxious. So rather than trying to confine her, we're just gonna walk down the beach where we're allowed. So it's nice that I have a couple of people with me because I can have one horse with my horse to keep her confident and I can have my other buddy go ahead to lead the way. So my horse kind of wants to keep going, doesn't freeze up. So we're all gonna walk together. If my horse wants to lead, I'll let her lead. If she wants to follow, I'll let one of these other horses lead. And we're just gonna wander down the beach. She's doing exactly what she's supposed to do, you know? She's a little worried, and she is also responding. So you need to make sure that you keep yourself and your horse safe, and that you talk to the people around you, so that if they're doing something that's potentially unsafe, you can advise them how to keep themselves safe. If their dog's off a leash and it's running towards your, your horse, you can ask them to leash their dog. You can kind of keep track of your horse, get them to face the dog so they're not going to kick at them. If it's kids coming up to you barefoot wanting to pet your horse, you know, you need to tell them that the horse could step on them. So when they do spook, you want to do everything you can to keep them from going backwards, keep them facing what it is that they're concerned about. Ideally, they walk by it. And if you can just follow your buddy horse, that'll make life a lot easier. That other horse that's, that's hopefully not concerned about stuff, your horse is going to be insecure enough that they're going to want to go with them. <laughs> This is a really high tide. You want to be careful that you protect their tendons. Um, don't, don't take off running if you have any control over the situation at all. Let them walk and figure out how to move in it. So I'm going to let her check out the water, but I'm not going to force her in the water. Unless you want to end up in the water, it's not a good battle to fight. If you have a horse that's really brave about it and you want to get in the water and you know your beach, that's fine. But you know, they, they have every right to be worried about putting their feet into something they can't see. The other thing that can happen is if you do ride your horse into the water, they can get vertigo because they don't really understand that the footing is moving. So you want to be careful if they're really drawn to it. This horse is kind of interested in the waves. I don't want to ride her out into the ocean. Uh, you want to be real careful about that. I've seen horses go down. So if she wanted to trot, I'd allow her to because I know that I can stop her but I'm not gonna ask for much this time. It's her first day out, but she's kind of getting to the end of her rope mentally, so I think I'm gonna call it a day pretty soon, and we can do this again next week. See, this is, a, this is how they should be after 45 days of rub inspection. My advertising. <laughs>